You may remember this chap and his minions, but tonight we have this chap and his minions, and this chap and his minions. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell. Hi, and welcome to Geekology. I'm David. I'm Sven. And as you can see, it's Educating Dave. Yes, yes, the tea cosy is out. So Sven, I know it's Soundwave without even being told that, even though the box says it. I oh, didn't know wave. that. Both. Both are Soundwave. Nope. No. What's that one? Looks like a cassette tape recorder to me. Oh god, yeah, fair enough. Right, so <laughs> we have one masterpiece and a Hasbro release something or another. Yes. Okay, that this is the masterpiece <coughs> MP13B Sound Blaster. Yeah. Which is a slightly different character from Soundwave. Yes. In the Japanese show, he was actually just a rebuilt Soundwave. Okay. Painted black. That is the Year of the Goat release of the Masterpiece Mold from Hasbro. Year of the Goat, Year of the Goat, Year of the Goat. We, we did, did the Prime. prime. Yeah, yes. we did Prime. You are going to enjoy that one. You might want to get it out. Tis what she proclaimed. That is not something I hear very often. I might want to whip it out. What, whip it out on camera? Yeah, whip it out on camera. Okay, okay. Oh, sure we're not reviewing you know, that. Can we move the very yeah. expensive little ones that yeah, uh, will break? The ones that will break. We're because not reviewing they're not the as stable packaging? as the original G ones. We're not reviewing the Hasbro package. No, go for it. Yeah, this is pretty yeah. obvious. This is like a so, Takara black masterpiece <coughs> packaging. Okay, so it's Hasbro packaging. I've not seen it style before. And yes, the you Decepticon you logo. saw it with the Master P, with the, uh, with the Optimus. Yeah, with the goat, didn't I? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. I'll right. just whip the toy out of Yeah, it. I think yeah. you will. <laughs> Let me see why you think it's a right this. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That would be why. Oh, and the cassettes are as well. That would be awesome. Oh, and the weapons. Oh, well, yeah. most of the weapons. One weapon isn't, the rest are. Oh, it's all translucent plastic. Oh, you might like that. Right, so those are the sonic weapons. I'm not sure why blue and gold, but okay. Blue and gold. Well, sil red and gold, red and rose gold, and then silver and blue. Kind of makes sense. Okay, do I need to remember the order these tapes go back in the box? No. Okay, so we've got uh, a gold, a rose gold, a uh, reddish colour, a silverish colour, and a bluish colour for cassette tapes, which Sven will give you the actual proper character names for in a bit. Because well, like, they're like, colours. Okay, so, so does that we mean can make you new ones know? up. Okay, I have a it's, it's actually it's going to be laser beak buzz or ravage oh, and frenzy, but because they're recolors, it's like this guy here. He's called enemy, but he only uses a recolor of those two guys. In fact, it's a mixture of their two colors. So yeah. Oh. <laughs> Thought you might like. Yeah, you you are right. You are very right. I know. To, to like this version. Oh damn it! I nearly lost the energon cube. This is clear, isn't it? Yeah. Should have blue crackly stuff in it though, shouldn't it? Mm, not necessarily, it's, you know. The exact button works. This one's just red. <laughs> the hands are not fully articulated, but are articulated-ish, i.e. the thumb and one finger. Mm -hmm. And it's not the finger you're thinking of. <laughs> oh, I never noticed that before. What was that? That you can push the button for fast forward, and, oh, yeah. but you can't do it for play. Yeah. <laughs> and thus ends David playing with it because he knows better. Should the eyes be red, really? Ah, now it's a repaint, so mm. it should be red on this one because it's from the cartoon series. Right, okay. Well, the anime in this case, to be brutally honest. Sven's going to play with some weapons. I'm having problems getting my weapon out. Forgive me. Not the first time you said it. Nope. Won't we'll be the last. last.
Oh, that's just wrong. What is? I love that. <laughs> <laughs> you can you can have that one. Yeah. Oh, all right. Makes sense as well. Why why did he get the clear? <laughs> oh. That's nice. I think it's the matching with the red cube. No, I, I, I like the... Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah. Is there a reason the barrel detaches? Or is that just for the sheer... You might want it, you might not. Well, yeah, because the original toy's got. I can't bother to see that's a good reason. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's basically, it's, you'd like, it's the Uncle gun, essentially. It's the P38 Uncle Edition that they don't end in the Megatron originally. So, yeah, there was reasons. But that is really nice and red, to be fair. That's quite mm -hmm. cool. I do agree. Um, Here we go. One of the few Transformers I actually feel comfortable transforming. To be fair, Samway's not that bad. To be fair, I know how expensive they are and the I'm going to play with the Rat Band. And how much force I want to use when I transform them, so no. <laughs> and I don't think you'd be happy with that amount of force used on your pretty, pretty shiny toys. Pretty, pretty shiny toys. Shiny toys. Shiny toys. Precious. Ah, oh, okay, that's a level of articulation I wasn't expecting. Mind you, these are master. Well, that's a masterpiece. This is. But masterpiece. this is still a masterpiece. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just... just not quite as good as the G1 one somehow. Which I never understood. But there we go. Okay. So this one is, uh, so this cassette tape transforms into, <gasps> yep, whatever we call it. Ah, I think I'm meant to transform that way around. <laughs> okay. Why can I never remember this one? So, um, it, was there a character called Chunky Thighs? Dude, <laughs> well, I have a look at those guys. I missed the whole thing. Yeah, the legs look like they straighten up in ways that... Oh! Oh, oh there we go. Yeah, remember what we said about me using force? Yeah, don't do that. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> don't choose the force. Lee. Your little guys have got guns. These ones haven't got guns. Oh, are they inside that? Why are they inside those? Because there's a weapon pod. I, I thought they were the sonic sound. Yeah, in the cartoon. Oh, okay. Yeah. In, in, in the comic, they were actually sonic. Okay. Not pounding. Is it worth transforming the others? They're just going to be very the, sonic. Yeah, it might be worth just getting them out. Which is what you're complaining with. Mm. I'll whip it out for the lads. Here we go. So there's a uh, rat bat and wing thing. There will be photos, obviously. <laughs> there will be photos. Yeah. We can guarantee there will be photos. Yeah. Lots and lots of lovely photos. Okay, so each one of these, unlike the animal ones, mm -hmm. are just the same thing but with different colour trim. Basically. Except that one. That one's different. Why is he a different configuration to the... Oh, he's the... Yeah, okay. It's package. Yes. Or in this form, possibly glit. One of the few third party, not third party, it's a KO. One of the few KOs I actually like is of that character. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's a. USB stick? Yeah. What am I bit? I know what you're like with USB sticks. Yeah, I don't know what it is. I know it's not normal. Because <laughs> this is. I'm not touching that with a barge pole. <laughs> Actually, I nearly commented on your Facebook this week with that exact comment, barge pole. Lovely. Just describe me in one word, and I was going to put barge pole. So when people say, why barge pole? And I'm going, because I wouldn't touch that with one. <laughs> and then people decide their own. The problem what there is, is, is that um, everybody else was being nice. I was being nice. Did you want to hear what the bad comment was going to be? Not usually. The running and the screaming. So, um, do you want to? <laughs> I don't want to break it. Never remember 
have to get the tail out. <laughs> That's what she back <laughs> Okay. Why am I singing that? Someone take me out and shoot me immediately. Well, yeah. Please. It's just wrong. So many levels. Nigga. Right, now we we'll see where we're going with that. Um, well, you know, they, they put this level of articulation in there for a reason. I can't be the only person. Wow, that's actually really difficult to look at. I just can see now. Oh, yeah. it's, it's so transparent. You can be everything's just showing up through it, and it's just like <laughs> cannot figure out what's what, where it is, and that's why it's not. I didn't extend it fully. Okay, so maybe Let me just get the nib out. There we go. Full barrel extension. That's what I need. Oh, what? <laughs> didn't say a word. Oh, excuse me. Why I need to? <laughs> well, don't, don't, because the line messes with it. Right, so that extends out. This. Well, that's got a hinge point. So does that. Ah, yeah, fudger. Is it one weapon per pod? I think so. No, it's got to be a pair. Should be a pair. Yeah, I wouldn't want to bet on that. No, oh no, sorry, yes, one weapon per pod, yes. Sorry, we can give it to double pod, so there's one in each pod, two in a double. And then that turns into a... Yeah, the, the pile of Separate pile. thing. Oh, poor fella's got piles. Anyway. Right, so, other than playing with these things, this one of which is gorgeous and yeah, has to be the, the one to get out of them. Uh, what, what are we doing today? That's it. It's just... It's just quite literally we're showing off... Uh, and we've got, look at all of them. Okay, so these are weapon pods. Yeah. Um, the reason there is two distinctly different ones is because they go with each yeah. of the... The cassette tapes. The reason I haven't got which the power drivers with these guys is because I don't display them with it. And this piece here? Uh, that's a projector, which fits into the fist area. Okay. Whoa! <laughs> um, and then we've got the Energon cubes, which I have to say is the most ridiculous piece of transformer near there is, because it is... It, can, can we just agree that that yeah, was, was silly. stupid? Well, it was made up by the cartoon series, so... Yeah. Oh, you see, no, if it was a battery, I'd have no issue with it. But the fact that they could just beam energy into a shape... Oh, that hurt my head. Which is why they didn't do it in the, the comic. Okay. Right, so... Yeah, go on then, show, show me in cassette mode. All right. In the meantime, I will have a look at the masterpiece. So, we have metallic eyes in red. We've got a gun in separate red. We've got purple, which, of course, articula articulation points are nice. Decent weight to it. And this is before the price went ridiculous for the plastics, isn't it? Mm. So sometimes it's mm. 13. We've got gold trim there. Decent level of detail. Coming from me, it's quite impressive because, you know, we all know what my, uh, my knowledge of Transformers is like. If you want to play with the crotch, there's a couple of buttons. Mm -hmm. 
Well, we all know it's an iconic character. Oh, yeah. Masterpieces are, well, they're masterpieces. They don't really need big enough. I think we've reviewed enough masterpieces by now that I don't need to big them up anymore, right? Yeah, I think that's fair. Did, now, considering how many viewers we have, do you think I ever needed to really big them up? Do you think it made any difference whatsoever in the grand universe of Transformer fans? Because I really doubt it. Yeah. No, I think you're fine. Actually, I was amazed at the last Transformer event I, that I went to that I did not get more flack. Because I did expect a little bit of flat. I was like, oh, God. Yeah, they were, I'm going to have annoyed... They know they're not I'm going gonna... to have annoyed somebody with one of my comments. <laughs> yeah, everyone was expecting me. It does help. Yep. Yep. It's weird how immediately I'm having issues because it's see-through. It's because it's see-through. It throws you. It's giving me a bit of a headache. Actually, literally, an actual headache. An actual headache. I'm really? seeing through things and it's like... I'm having problems focusing on it because I'm seeing through them, which is obviously slightly weird. Mm. It's throwing me off a bit as a result, but I will get there. That's what she said. amuses me when that one hits the rounds again. That picture always seems to circle up every couple of years. Okay. suffering from any um, performance anxiety. Yeah. Never really that much of a problem. <sighs> Been doing the videos long enough. <laughs> you can take that as many ways as you like. I don't care. <laughs> See what I have to put up with. into holes when both are transparent. Not the easiest thing in the world to do. Give me, give me, give me. There you go. Yeah, it's just ready for a battery. <laughs> and I will of course do let's off it. Pretty good though, yeah? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, they did. Yeah, there's so much detail. Well, yeah. I like the fact the earphone port's the weapon port as well. There's, I mean, there's, there's a lot about these two to like. Yeah. Even if they can tip that out the front. Might um, extend out the cassette tape thing. No, 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 it's from, the, from one of the episodes. 
What, where he carried an energon cube? Yeah, he was producing them out of his chest. Empty ones. Empty energy. Oh, uh, no, no, because no, the, the one I saw was the one with the, with the, with the hydroelectric dam. And yeah. The, yeah. Um, I think it was a ruby crystals of Burma bit mm -hmm. where he was producing them, where Samite was literally standing there and they were <laughs> dropping onto the floor so they could fill them up. Okay, well, whatever. So, yeah, right, that's why so, that one so that's why Samite yeah. comes with clear cubes. Mm. Not because it's a really it's cheap add on piece. Thing. There we go. So yeah, that's what I'm doing with that. This one's got a false front in the moment, so I can take that off and pop that on. There we go. There you go. Some people have done inserts that could, that could pop into them to make them look. Yeah, to make them look like yeah. actual energon. So that's pretty cool. I like what they did with this one actually. So the without that on, it looks like sound wave. Yeah. But with it on, it looks like sound blaster because. The original G1 toy, Soundwave could only take one cassette. Yes. Sound Blaster that would be re-engineered to take two. To take two, yes. yes. So the, the chest stuck out a bit further. So to, to basically ape that, they, instead of doing what they did with this one, which is that the, the extra chest had some kind of readout on it, I think it was the spacecraft from one of the episodes, mm -hmm. something like that. Um, they've basically given it a bit more of a bulk. Okay. Yeah. Nicely done, frankly. Um, are these necessary? The recolors. The are any of the recolors actually really. necessary? What are you doing with those panthers? Mm. Um, um, it, it's um, the this one's blind, and the one behind's pushing him home. Um, I'm still very pleased that I've got the Hasbro version of Soundwave rather than the Takara one because Why? the coloring. Okay. Um, because gold eyes rather than red eyes. Okay. Uh, because this has got the red eyes, which is accurate because every version But it's of accurate because that's Sand Blaster. Yeah, and every version of Sand Blaster has always had red eyes, regardless okay. of what it's in. Um, and for it to have red eyes on that just follows. Why did you get this one? Uh, because it's a masterpiece toy I don't have. Okay. Literally, it's it's like it's, it's the only reason. Yeah, no, I mean, there's nothing about the reason. And I managed to get that. Nothing and special that. about the tapes because normally the, this is, is the thing is I do a thing with I I I want all the tapes as well. Yeah, I know. That's why I said was yeah. there anything special with the tapes other than the well, that's the only time I've ever done clear. Uh, Don't get me wrong. I've bought stuff because yeah. it has been released. Crystal GameCube. Yeah, but I've been. This is the thing is I've got a really good deal on buying them both together. Okay. So I was like, yeah. I'll do that. I'll do that. Fair enough. So, yeah. Um, I mean, I must admit they weren't very high up on the on the, the the wanted list, but it was a case of the offer was like, yeah, we'll do that. We'll do okay. That. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, we've all been there. Oh yeah. So. Oh okay, that's nice. The they put the different version of the logo on the feet. Yeah. In fact, anywhere where the logo logo is, it's it's a different version. The year of the goat one. I like that. Yeah, I really like the fact that they've got the different version of the logo on yeah. the feet. I think you'll find everywhere where a Decepticon logo should be. It's got the new uh, version. Yeah. That's actually the wings on this one. Mm. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so you brought it along to show me. That's marvellous. Are yeah. we scoring it? Or is it just quite literally I wanted David to see the funny colours? Well, I thought you'd enjoy the, uh, the transparent yeah. one, certainly. Um, but yeah, we'll score them because, I mean, at the end of the day, it's a slightly weird thing because everybody knows Soundwave. Yes. Not everyone knows Sound Blaster. Why and would you not know Sound Blaster? I know Sound Blaster, so... It wasn't released outside Japan. Was it not? Nope. The character? Nope. Are you thinking of, of Blaster, the Autobot? Not unless it's a cassette, plate, uh, cassette tape player too. Yeah, he was red. Oh, I might know him then. Yeah, he was in the film. He was in Transformers the movie. Oh yeah, 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 I know that one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but I know the black toy. I know this, but I know the black toy. Have we reviewed the black toy? Is that why I know it? We've reviewed the G1 reissue. There you go. I so said that's why I know it. Because you know what I'm like with the tapes. Yeah, you have to I have want all, all the of them. You are worse than me in USB yeah. sticks. The, the thing is, is that I'm still missing a G1 set. What do you want me missing? There was a reissue 
in the shattered glass universe. So it was an, it was an Autobot coloured sound wave and Decepticon coloured blaster. Okay. With cassettes all recolored. All recolored cassettes. Mm -hmm. Some way. So if any of our viewers have one of those and would like to part with it, Sven would be able to talk to you at some stage. Uh, yeah, like when when my bank balance has recovered from this year. Yeah, yeah, it's been an expensive year for very pretty toys. It's been an expensive year because of me being, not being very well. But we won't well, yes, that. I know, but I didn't want to mention that. Oh, it's fine. It's all over the, pay, the, the the channel. Let's be honest. I know, but still, yeah. I don't know. It just feels tacky for me to mention it. It's just it's fine. Well, it's fine. Yeah. It's one of those things that yeah. happens. Um, On the plus yeah. side, it does mean that our fans who have issues of their own can relate and and. Yep. Give advice and chat and yeah. Totally. As uh, with everything else, we're all about the fans chatting with us. Yes, absolutely. And uh, do feel free to come and say hi if you're ever at an event we're at. Um, if it's one of us, both of us, um, just feel free to come on over. It's uh, it's perfectly alright. We've had a few people go, it's them, and then run off, which is a bit weird. Yeah, yeah. I I get accosted sometimes going, where's Sven? Like I keep you on a leash, <laughs> just like he's here. So they're all there. Um, I just, no, I think it's really funny, but oh, where's Sven? I'm like, ah, oh. at home? <laughs> yeah, he's <laughs> not shopping in Asda. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, yeah, uh, it was interesting at TF Nation actually, because you, you came over for the Friday night. Friday night, night. yeah, I came over. Um, and then on Saturday, I had, to, I had three or four people I needed to sign things for. <laughs> I'm not a yeah. guest. <laughs> okay. Can you sign it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Which is quite fun. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I used to uh, do magazine Drugs. articles. I used to do magazine articles for Model Collectors Mart and, Me and Memorabilia Magazine and Area 51 Magazine and various other things uh, back in the, uh, in the day when I was uh, younger and desperately needed money because I basically knocked the wife up. Yeah, <laughs> I will not be mentioning the various uh, publications that I've written for because people sometimes like showing me the articles and going, do you remember saying this? TNG. We'll come back to that when we do our reactions to Star Trek The Next Generation, which we have started filming. Oh yes, we have started oh, we filming. Have started and filming. we need to start filming uh, Dark Crystal. Yes. yes, and Doctor Who. Yes. And once we've done TNG, there'll be DS9. Yes. And uh, we're basically just going to go through everything. Yeah. Slowly. Yeah. Up tons and tons With Doctor Who, we've, we've started at, uh, at the beginning of Eccles uh, Christopher Eccleston's run. Um, once we've caught up, uh, we may go back and do some classic. Oh, you're not going to believe this, sir. So. What? Did you manage to transform something? Oh, I thought I'd done it four. right, and then it turns out I'd actually done it wrong. I was, I was all, I was all like, yeah, he did it, and then it turns out. I don't uh, suppose there were any, um, any collector's cards in that box. I'm guessing not, because it has brought. I think, I didn't see it. No, no, just a very, very pathetic instruction. <laughs> Whereas, of course, the masterpiece one comes with. Um, good old. Ah, uh, there we go. A proper a manual, and. Collector's cards for Ratbat and Sound Blaster, which is nice. So you'll probably see bits of me, you know, photos of me popping that in that great big folder. You got a great big folder? I'm a bit of a geek. Yes, yeah, so I've got a great big folder. Me being a geek, it should be no shock considering what channel you're watching. Sven. Hello. Aside from the fact I put the head the wrong way around. Not bad. Not bad at all. <laughs> <laughs> but in usual David fashion, their heads are all around. <laughs> heads are all around. <laughs> okay, well, I, I thought this was actually going to be a, a big review one. I'd sort of got it in my head there. I didn't realise this was going to be a Let's Play With Toys. Right, so Sven was right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But really he, like knows, he knows I'm a sucker for the translucent plastics. Yep. Love that. The, the cassettes, well, of course, they're the cassettes. They're great fun. Not as good as the G1 ones though, which is weird from us, I suppose. Me. But anyhow, the funny thing is, is that the G1 cassettes fit in the masterpiece sound wave. Okay, that's good. So it's like.
Blaster, as in Autobot Blaster, and his repaint, Twin Cast. Um, because they've done... Um, because they really wanted the money. Well, they've done, they've done a repaint of Ravage as Stripes, yeah. which was a character who was cut from Transformers the movie. Right. And replaced with Steeljaw. And they did Night Stalker in that pack of four with um, Wing Thing and Enemy. Um, Night Stalker was basically originally... Well, okay, I say originally. Um, in the G1 reissues, they mm. finally did Night Stalker as a repaint of Steeljaw. Um, so the Steeljaw repaint has come out first. And Steeljaw hasn't come out yet because he usually comes with Blaster. So... <laughs> Which kind of gave us all the idea, Blaster's coming. When? We want Blaster now. Um, but there's been all sorts of weird and wonderful things happening with, with Masterpieces recently. Um, as you're aware, we've done um, Megatron from Beast Wars recently. Uh, we have got to do Dinobot yes. as well, and Cheetor. And they've announced Black Arachnia, which looks awesome. Uh, loads of people have been moaning that the... Uh, that the um, Spider mode doesn't look right. They're both right and wrong at the same time. Okay. It doesn't look right for the original toy or, but, or the, the animated. Anime. It's or an the amalgamation of the two. No, no, it doesn't look right for either of those. What it looks like is a Black Widow Spider. Okay. They've actually made it more like the real Black Widow Spider would look like. Okay. Which is intriguing, um, but also means that the robot basically folds up into an abdomen. <laughs> With some bits because of Black Widow Spider is literally is a bit, big, bit, bit big with abdomen yeah. and the legs. Um, so a lot of people have gone, that looks totally out of proportion. It's not, it's, that's what the Black Widow Spider looks like. Proportion with the actual thing. And you've also got to bear in mind the Black Arachnia's name in Japan was Black Widow. Yeah, okay. Makes sense. Just means that making tarantulas out of that mould didn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> so it's going to have to be a totally new mould. Um, which is which is fun, but they've also uh, announced um, Masterpiece Hound, mm. which is a cartoon series color green. Nice. Uh, no, I'd rather have it in dark green. So I'm, I'm I'm thinking that might get plus, and I'm waiting until the plus. And they've also just released uh, the third version of Optimus Prime in the Masterpiece range, and it's expensive, and it's got electronics. It's, oh, it's going for about three fifty to four hundred pounds. Let me guess, light up sword and the sound chip. There's no sword, um, but there's a sound chip. But the interesting thing is, is it's now it's just come out, people have been testing the sound chip, and it's got pizza in it. Oh, okay. So Peter Cullen's voice and the Japanese voice actor are in that. So it's two, two banks of yeah. voices, plus sound effects, plus bits from the TV show. So... Um, clearly that's been manufactured with cross-selling in mind. I don't know. So it has actually been sold. This is the thing, is, is that the, um, the, uh, the Takara release has yeah. actually been offered in limited numbers by Hasbro US to stores in the States. That's oh, yeah. new. That's new. And they also had MP um, Beast Wars Megatron at Toy Fair, which is slightly annoying because... Does that mean that there's a, the sound chip is hiding David Kane in it? And there's some kind of switch we don't know about? Or are they going to have to redo the voice chip for a Western audience? Because it's interesting because that Megatron, though it was expensive, it was significantly less than this new Optimus Prime was. Right. Um, but Optimus does come with three figures. It's got um, Spark Plug, uh, Spike and... I don't know what I'm doing wrong there. I don't know. Uh, and his girlfriend, uh, whose name I cannot remember. Um, no, it's gone. Not Carly. Okay. Carly. Um, and it's quite a lot of accessories with it, and there's things like it can do the one scene where Starscream has, has, has put on Optimus Prime costume. Uh, <laughs> um, and, and various bits from Transformers movie and stuff like that. But, uh, and I'll pop a picture up as well, talking about MP44, the, ver the third version of Optimus from the... Uh, from the masterpiece range, um, as I said earlier, the uh, the voice chip includes Peter Cullen in it. Mm. Um, but Chris Evans, uh, not that Chris Evans, a friend of mine, Chris Evans. Um, I would like the other ones a friend as well, but we won't go there. Um, uh, basically, sent me uh, an image of that someone had done of a 
sort of like digibash, essentially a, a Photoshop of MP44, but with colouring and chrome uh, matching the original G1 toy. Yeah. And it was stunning. Mm. It was love. And this is the thing, I hate the mould. I'm not impressed with it whatsoever because it's very cartoon accurate. Yet with that colour scheme, it raises it. Okay. Um, cool. th it looks like they've, they've digibashed on a new head, mm. so it looks more like the original character. Um, say the original character, the original toy character. Um, but it looks really, really nice, and I'm like, I, I'm like, well, I'm sold now. Um, <laughs> I need one of those. I now. need one of those now. I'm not sure I prefer it to MP10 still. But it's very nicely done. If they do actually release a plus version that looks like that, I'm I, I'm I'm done for, basically. Um, so that that's quite nice. Um, but this, the 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 masterpiece range is in it, it seems to be in a very strange place right now, um, simply because no one really knows what the hell's going on. Um, there's because of what's happening with Hasbro and Takara has been having issues. Mm. Um, nobody's quite sure where we're going to go from here because um, as you've probably noticed on the Generations figures like the Siege stuff um, it's all got Tsukaratomi written on now as well as Hasbro so everything's sort of like global um, everything's crossed over so all very very it feels weird in a way because it's been so long where we've been basically feel like we've been fighting the to get stuff over here mm. um, but there have been instances recently with Siege where for instance um, a set of three Rainmakers was, was was teased to one retailer they took it as an exclusive and then Hasbro US pulled it oh. it's like oh thanks very much um, it'll be interesting to see what happens with all this because Hasbro UK are desperately 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 trying to make things better for us over here Mm. And Hasbro, yes, is just continually pulling the rug from them. Mm. But then that's what was happening with all assembly. Every time I tried to get a toy done, every single time, it was always Hasbro UK were up for it. Hasbro US pulled it. Mm. And to be fair, it got to different stages each time. Um, but the 2009 one really annoyed me because I was working on that before 2008 happened. Yeah. Um, and then that falling through after Hasbro UK had gone, yes, we love the idea. I'd done some concept art and the Hasbro US just went, no. And one of the things I suggested doing, they then did in the one that he actually released. That's annoying. But there you go. Yeah. All fun. Right, well, thank you for sharing that with me. And uh, you should take this opportunity to subscribe to us here on YouTube. You can follow us on both Facebook and Twitter. While you're on Facebook, you should check out Geekology the Group. That's where we add all the lovely pictures of the things we review. And while you're kicking around on the internet, come and have a look at our Patreon page. All the links are all this lot will be down below. Oh, pay for this. <laughs> Horses for courses. Um, if you subscribe at the level called Mini Autobot slash Ensign, uh, you will get early access to our completed videos. There are other tiers, so do have a look through all of the, uh, the little benefits and bonuses you can get. Uh, depending on how much money you're giving us each month. There's one where he comes and sings happy birthday. Yeah. You? Right, so, thank you for oh, watching. Send you a card. Thank you for watching. <laughs>
How can you not enjoy this? The only one thing that's better, and that's... Oh, it's me, isn't it? <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Three, two... Hi, and welcome to Geekology. I'm David. I'm Sven. And tonight, well, as you may have guessed, it's Educating Dave. And tonight we're going to be Educating Dave with various masterpieces. Right, give me the MP numbers. Hi. MP13B and... Hasbro released it in Helen. Okay. Because that is Year of the Goat Sandboy. <laughs> <laughs> I need to pee and I need to do your drink. Yes, please. Oh. 